After the Manhattan Project culminated with America dropping nuclear bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, a race to create the most powerful ballistic missile took off. During the Cold War, the United States and the Soviet Union entrenched themselves in a nuclear arms race and focused on creating delivery systems that could carry powerful atomic warheads. Now, in the digital era, with constantly evolving satellite communications, the nuclear powers have refocused on delivery systems that can penetrate defensive countermeasures. In 2018, Russia unveiled its avant-garde hypersonic glide missile system that was designed with a single objective – breach the anti-missile shields that the United States installed in Europe. Today's greatest technological development lies in designing stealth projectiles that use impressive navigation systems assisted by satellites and artificial intelligence while traveling at unparalleled speeds. Thus, the Russian avant-garde system should come as no surprise. Avant-garde is not only dangerous because of the nuclear payload it can carry, but also because of how fast and secretive it can carry these explosives. Do you think Russia has the most dangerous ballistic missile on the planet? Continue watching and decide for yourself. But first, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell so you always see our future uploads. Now, buckle your seatbelts as we go hypersonic in this latest installment of Fierce, Fire and Fury. On March 1st, 2018, Russian President Vladimir Putin held a press conference in which he presented six new strategic weapons that were in various stages of development. One of the most interesting was the avant-garde hypersonic missile system, which, according to President Putin, was designed with the objective of defeating the anti-missile shields that the United States had deployed throughout Europe. In his presentation, Putin pointed out that the planning stage for avant-garde began in the early 2000s, after America withdrew from the Anti-Ballistic Missile Treaty in 2002. This agreement controlled the manufacture of this type of weaponry between the United States and Soviet Union and the eventual Russian Federation from 1972 until 2002. American military leadership decided to abandon the treaty's restrictions in order to strengthen America's tactical nuclear deterrent strategy in the Middle East, as well as Europe, because of the conflicts developing in the Middle East and the global fight against terror. In 2006, Putin declared that Russia's creation of hypersonic projectiles was his response to America's deployment of its nuclear missile system in Europe, which threatened to virtually devastate Russian atomic capabilities and reduce Russian nuclear power. America's exit from the treaty led to Russia's development of a missile capable of carrying at least six warheads that could be deployed by drones. However, with the creation of the avant-garde system, it was clear that Russia had made significant progress in its ability to deliver nuclear warheads. Although little is known about avant-garde's true capabilities, analysts have speculated about the missile system. The avant-garde can carry nuclear warheads mounted on hypersonic glide vehicles. When fired, the initial booster ICBM reaches high into the atmosphere, where it deploys the hypersonic warheads. These warheads can maneuver or glide independently from each other and fall back to Earth at an enormous speed of Mach 27, which is nearly 21,000 miles per hour. But this is not all. The warheads do not simply fall to a designated GPS location. Complex computers and AI can help maneuver the warhead with great flexibility, allowing it to avoid enemy anti-missile defense shields. Russia claims that these vehicles can move both laterally and vertically, and even perform complex maneuvers during their trajectory towards the target. Thus, Russia named the system Avangard because it is at the forefront of missile avionics and navigation systems. Each warhead in an Avangard missile has its own engine and set of gliding wings, which means that several cities could be in danger of being completely destroyed with the firing of a single projectile. The number of warheads that Avangard can carry has not yet been officially declared, but it is believed to be at least six, each with a destructive power of up to two megatons, or two million tons of TNT. For reference, this is up to a hundred times the explosive capacity of the bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. 
The avant-garde system is already part of the active arsenal of the Russian Federation, and after several successful tests, the Kremlin has indicated a willingness to upgrade its older missiles from the avant-garde system. While avant-garde might be able to achieve the Mach 27 speed and maneuverability claimed by the Russians, neither can be sustained for long periods and still be expected to deliver a nuclear warhead. First, at such high speeds, ionized gas from around the glide vehicle cuts off communication between the base and the missile. The ionized gas is also easily detectable by satellites and infrared-guided missiles, and thus easier to track and shoot down. So, the greater speed creates ionized gas, which renders guidance from a remote pilot or remote computer impossible. It also makes it easier for enemies to track and potentially lock onto and shoot down an avant-garde projectile. Second, the heat generated at such a high velocity renders any external sensors futile. So, the hypersonic glide vehicles would have to detach from the warhead, otherwise the entire missile would disintegrate in a ball of flames. Therefore, the avant-garde's ability to zigzag and evade missile defense systems would be very limited and only possible in the upper atmosphere, and any eventual impact would likely occur on a linear trajectory at a speed under Mach 4. Additionally, avant-garde is currently a ballistic missile deployed from land silos. These containers are usually fixed, and their locations must be declared to international nuclear weapons authorities, making them an easy target for preventative attacks. Furthermore, land silos help facilitate the interception of warheads by providing the ability to track the origin trajectory. Even if the land-based anti-missile systems were eliminated, the United States still has the largest arsenal of submarine-launched ballistic missiles. These Trident missiles are the fastest tactical projectiles on the planet that can quickly relocate in secret, an advantage that surpasses current Russian capabilities. We want to know your opinion. Do you think that this modern avant-garde projectile has the capacity to put the United States in check or that it represents less of a danger than Russia claims? Do you know any weapon that could stop the avant-garde from landing on U.S. soil? Drop your perspectives in the comments section below. If you found this video as intriguing as we did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to see more thought-provoking content. Thank you very much for joining us for this video. See you next time on Fierce, Fire, and Fury.